Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing, sorry, sorry it's moving. We're going to do an Ikea haul. We just got back from Ikea a couple days ago, so I've been stashing this to the side to show you guys. Um, I don't have the receipt on me. Um, I need to find it. I thought it was in my purse, but I need to look a little bit harder. I will include the prices. I'll just go ahead and edit them in. But um, we did spend um, like $450 or close to, um, it was definitely over $400, I do know that. But uh, yeah, so um, my name's Christina. If you're new to my channel, um, I'd definitely love to have you subscribe and stick around. Uh, I'm a mama of three, two boys and a girl, and we love everything Disney. My husband and I are big Disney nerds, and um, well, he's kind of one because of me, but... <laughs> Um, he loves it too. Uh, we just went to Disneyland a couple weeks ago, so stay tuned for some videos on that and maybe some shorts. Um, and we will be, um, we have a Disney World trip coming at the beginning of 2022. So we'll have lots of like fun videos, um, packing and pre-hauls and all that good stuff. Um, so, uh, we frequent Costco and Sam's Club and all that good stuff. So just a brief, like what this channel is about. Um, definitely if you're into those kind of videos, um, uh, subscribe and stick around and we'd love to have you. Thank you to all the love and the new subscribers and um, I really appreciate it and we're really grateful. So I'll just go ahead and start showing you what we got. We have this huge bag we got that's rainbow bag. Um, I think it was $2.99 but um, I'm used to like telling you guys prices so I'm going to try not to do that and I'll just edit the prices in. But as far as the bag, it was like $2.99 or $3.99. We did get these bowls. Um, I went ahead and took them out of the packaging. These are just a replacement. We got some fruit um, before everything happened. We got bowls and plates. Um, they didn't have the utensils at the time. But um, they're just pastel for the kids, plastic bowls. We love these. These are great for like snacks and all that. Um, even ice cream. But there's... Um, baby pink, baby blue, gray, white, um, like a pale yellow and a pale, like a mint green. Really pretty. And then here's the plates. Same colors and they're, um, we like to replace them because they are plastic. So after a while they do get worn. Um, they are microwavable. We try not to microwave them too often and they are dishwasher safe as well. And then we did go ahead and get the, um, utensils to match. Um, they didn't have these last time pre-everything, so I was excited to get those. We have the brighter ones that are really worn out and um, almost non-existent at this point. We don't have too many of them left. So we got those. Um, I love their Ziploc bags. I know it's not the best to use um, Ziploc, but unfortunately it's just our reality with um, packing lunches for my husband and the boys. Um, this is a three quart and a one quart. You get 25 of each. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's a little better. Sorry about the lighting. Um, there's a white and a, and a yellow. And these are great. Really heavy duty and a great price for what you get. Um, this one's a one um, with a, like, kind of like one with a designer. Um, gosh, why am I? I'm drawing a blank. But um, a collab. There we go. And there's 25, and these are snack ones. And these are perfect. My boys are actually doing this extended, like, um, program for summer, um, which is just, like, a month of summer school, like, four weeks of summer school, just to help because of everything, to help them for the next year. Um, so I did get these to pack lunches. I got two of these. Ones are already in use in my kitchen. Um, oh, and then we got the cups as well. Um, the kid cups in the same colors to match and you just can't beat the price on those um we also got this one um i don't know the designer's name it's not on here i don't think but um so they're flowers and like a red and pink and then the other one's like a peachy they're really pretty print on the bags and this one is um a 2.5 liter so i already have like bigger Ziploc, like, um, freezer bags and everything, so I needed some of those. And then I'll get more when back to school. Um, I'll probably have another Ikea haul in the next, like, two months because I do want to, um, situate some things before school starts. So I kind of went to see what I liked and what I need to save for, 
and got a couple things that I need now and then I'll go back. So, um, I did get this. Um, it's like one of those, um, soap dispenser, um, sponges brush. So I haven't seen those before there. I'm sure they've had them, but I did go ahead and get that and you could put the dispenser and you press down. There was a green one and then, um, this black one. Sorry about my nails. <laughs> I am in the process of slowly, I cut them down and I got to take them off. So that's always fun. Um, I did go ahead and get these, um, spice jars. I won't even try to say like the names of things because I'm sure I'll butcher them, but these are glass and then they have the top, which is nice. So you can open it to full or like half if you will. And then, um, like sprinkled. So, um, I thought it'd be, we do have a smaller kitchen, so I think it'll look nice, like more aesthetically pleasing to put these, um, like displayed out. And then I have a nice label maker. That's kind of like a raised label maker, kind of old fashioned. And, um, I will put the labels on them. So I did get two of those. So I have eight. Got that. Okay. Um, why don't I show you this first? So to go along with that, I got um, these. I wish I got another one. And then I kind of actually think they'd make really good bookshelves for the kids' room, which I'm redoing, the boys' room. Um, so I might go back for some more. Luckily, it's not too far from us. So I did get, um, and this was another collab with a, um, a designer. But um, these are like a newer type spice rack and not too badly priced. And they actually have, um, so I was thinking about doing a couple of these. I might go back for a third. And then they actually have some bars that's just like a rail with the same like um, screw end, like the white end. And then it has some hooks and you can hang your mugs from it. So I might do that because I do have like an overpour of mugs, like a lot of Disney ones too. So I might do something like that to display them underneath the spice racks. Um, but also these would make really good bookshelves. We have the old ones or we did have the old ones, um, for books and they worked really well. Um, so there's that. We got two of those. Okay. So we got this jar. Um, I'm going to be redoing my laundry room a little bit. Um, it's again, another smaller space in my house, but at least we have one. So we're very grateful for that, but I am going to be redoing it and I got these shelves. So I'm going to be, um, Rejarring basically everything, putting in new containers like these um, versus like the the Tide or you know more commercial containers. Um, so and then labeling them so it looks a little bit better. Um, so I got this nice big one, and then you buy the lid separately. So I got the lid, and honestly, you guys, they only had a couple of these left. They're out of a lot of things. There's this kid's bookshelf, like a nicer, longer one completely out and they said they've oversold them for a while. Um, so yeah, they're out of a lot of things. Um, a comforter, we went for like a cool comforter cause we live in California. Um, really no need for a warm comforter, um, ever, but, um, they've been out of those since before everything happened. And I thought for sure, because it's summer now they'd have them. They still do not. It's crazy. But, um, I know there's a lot of <laughs> bigger problems, but yeah, everything just really backed up and uh, we're going to see the effects from it. I think, um, I got this jar and I think it's so cute. I wish I got a few more cause it is a great price and I just love the size. So I was thinking like dryer sheets, dryer sheets or, um, like the beads. So we'll see how I do it. Um, uh, maybe I'll do a video on it and share with you guys if that's something you guys like to see. Um, let's see. And then I got, I'm like stacking everything right here. Okay. I got, we've had these long pillows, um, forever. We've had the same covers and I washed them and washed them and we love them, but they're well loved and they just don't smell that fresh anymore. Every time I do clean them and they're kind of stained a little bit. So we did get some new covers. Um, and this is the long one. This is a 26 by 16 and we love our pillow inserts from Ikea. We love them so much. We have the 20 by 20, I think it's 20 by 20. And then the, and then the two long ones, which are 26 by 16. So this is like a nice, 
like almost camel, like um, golden corduroy. So I thought that was really pretty. And we'll kind of go with, um, we're kind of changing things. We almost have like a Disneyland theme <laughs> in our living room, but um, I kind of want to change things up a little bit and make it a little more simple, a little more fresh and do like a Spanish, almost like boho, but simple. So um, we actually painted a wall like a bluish gray and I think we're gonna just paint it back white um, and kind of just do some golds um, with a lot of neutrals because I do change my mind a lot. So I just think if I stick with more neutral clean palette, I won't um, <laughs> try to change it so often um, or get bored of it. But um, so we got two of those. So this is the second one. And then another thing that's new I thought was really cool um, if your kids are like mine, which most kids are, they love to create and draw and use all my printer paper and have papers everywhere and you can't throw them out because they're special drawings. Um, my husband spotted this when we were there and I was like, that is so perfect. I was almost going to wait till Christmas, like as a nice Christmas gift, but I thought, you know what, we need it now to organize. Um, so basically, let me rip this off so I can show you. But you just clip your paper here and then it's like nice and soft so they can even take it in the car to go. I mean, it's just the coolest thing, you guys. And for the price, and I have, hang tight, sorry, scissors here for this purpose. And then inside they can store all their papers and drawings that they want to keep right here. And then um, they can put markers and pencils. Um, there's a little zipper pouch and they can keep more markers or a sharpener or scissors or what have you in there. So I just think this is the best thing. You could even just keep them in your car. We're definitely going to have them in our house um, so they can store their drawings and stuff. And we'll keep them like in their little file thing um, over in like our command center area. But um, I just thought that was so cool and definitely something to share with parents or anyone um, with or around kids that's looking for a cool gift. They do sell the markers and a bunch of other like um, like highlighters and um, pencils and just a whole bunch of craft type stuff and paper for a great price. We already have all that stuff, but I thought I'd make mention of that. Um, but they really do like on a lot of things have great prices. So this was a great deal. Got two of those. And then there's two, three more things. So we got, um, the, these are the new curtains we got. And, um, right now we have these like almost sheer pink curtains, which kind of went with our past. And we didn't do a lot of pastels. We did neutrals and pastels for Disneyland. We have the big Disneyland sign, but anyways, um, we realized like our house where it's at its position and the sun hitting it it's literally like a greenhouse and it gets so hot in here and they have gotten a like our landlord has gotten rid of some trees and stuff and bushes so that has a lot to do with it but we realize our nice pretty sheer pink curtains like they're like a lighter like taupey pink but um they're just not doing it like the sun's coming right in so we decided to go ahead and get some like mega blackout curtains from Ikea and we actually went with this color which is interesting like I wasn't originally going for this type of color but when I saw it I was like you know what I think that's the color I want to go for I want to paint the walls really nice um, creamy white and we've already been kind of painting touch-ups here and there but um, just paint everything and have accents of gold and some black and white and like neutrals and just keep it a really nice, like relaxing um, place to kind of come to at the end of the day after work and school and stuff. So, but yeah, these are, and they are velvet. So I'm really excited. Um, it was, there's two in each. So um, we have windows on like around us on um, separate walls. So um, it is velvet. So you can see, can you see that hopefully. Um, but yeah, so we had to get two packs. So it's a little more pricey, but these will last us. And I thought they'd look great for even fall. Um, so definitely do some greenery for summer right now and just keep it simple. So it like works. 
And then for fall, it will definitely work. And I can't wait for fall, you guys. And um, Christmas, obviously, it will work really well. So I'm excited. And then, like I said, we got two of those. So here's the other one. Exactly the same, but... And I was so glad that there's two panels in each because sometimes you can pay all... I mean, this is still very expensive for curtains, but um, they will do exactly what we need them to do. Um, keep the heat out and keep our air in. <laughs> so that'll be nice. Um, the last thing we got was this area rug. Um, oh, it's kind of... It's a little shaggy. Um, I'll definitely do a video because I want to show you how beautiful this rug is. I really pretty like a beige gray oatmeal type rug and it's textured so it's low piled and high piled like um, diamonds and it has tassels at the end um, so I'm really hoping it works and it's not one that we trip over um, it was 200 so like I said I'll put the prices in with everything but that was 199 um, so a little more pricier so definitely we will make sure it works before we like get super comfortable with it but um, that's basically it. That was, um, like I said, 400 something dollars, 450. I will put that in once I find the receipt and edit this. But um, definitely stick around and subscribe. I'll be doing another bigger IKEA haul, most likely in um, the next month or two when we get geared up for back to school. And I got some ideas and saw some things I really like that I want to kind of save for. So. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. So real quick, big thank you guys for everything, all the love and support. I want to make sure you guys really know how much it means to me. Um, just subscribing and trying to, you know, grow my channel and this little um, endeavor I'm on. And um, it just really is, honestly, it's something I can do for me. I thoroughly enjoy it and I love watching videos like this. So um, I hope you guys know how much you also mean to me. Um, definitely give it a big thumbs up and um, comment and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, take care.